Hello everyone, si Susan Kaboy ulito for another YouTube tutorial dito sa ating Teach Me How YouTube channel. And today's video ay ang um, pag-uusapan natin ay very exciting at very interesting. Okay, so kung first time ka lang sa aking video or sa aking channel, please make sure to subscribe and pakihit mo na rin yung bell icon para ma-notify ka sa mga upcoming videos ko. Okay, so ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, ay tungkol sa t-shirt printing business. Okay, kung ikaw ay OFW or ikaw ay isang um, stay-at-home moms, maganda to na gawin na side jobs or full-time job. Okay, na kahit nasa bahay ka lang, basta meron kang uh, space sa bahay mo na pwede mong paglagyan itong business na to, pwedeng-pwede. Okay, so let's get started! Okay, yung pisahan na natin. Ang isi-share ko sa inyo is yung step-by-step -step, uh, method kung paano ka mag-start ng printing business o yung t-shirt printing business at home. Okay? So, first, i-decide mo yung method of printing na gusto mo. Okay? Kasi marami pa lang klase ng printing method. Okay? So, importante yung step na yon dahil ito yung magdi-dictate ng startup capital mo. At ito din yung mag influence sa large part ng business planning mo. Okay? So, currently, meron 3 methods ng t-shirt uh, printing na pwede mong gamitin. Okay? First is yung screen printing. Yung screen printing, ito yung ginagamitan ng traditional technique na gumagamit tayo ng mesh stencil kung saan para ma-transfer yung ink sa t-shirt, okay? Dahil para ma uh, kasi nakakapag-print siya ng one color lang at a time. So kung magpi-print ka pala ng uh, sabihin natin four or more colors, makakaano siya, uh, longer ang yung production time mo. So hindi advisable. Although marami pa ring gumagamit nito, um, yung second is yung the D TG or yung direct-to-garment. Okay? Yung direct-to-garment naman o yung TDG, ito yung digital printing process na ginagamitan ng inkjet, inkjet technology. Okay? Yung process niya, uh, yung ink niya ay ina-apply niya directly para ma-absorb ng fiber ng t-shirt. Okay? Unlike yung screen printing, uh, ito nakakapag- produce siya ng full quality color ng images. Okay? So, yung downside naman niya, nagre-require to ng more capital which may range from 11,000 to 700,000. So, mas maganda siya, pero mas malaki naman yung capital. Yung third naman is yung heat press, uh, heat transfer, sorry. So, ito yung middle choice between the two, okay? So, gumagamit dito ng quality heat transfer paper uh, which uh, it can create full color design. So, mas maganda pala to. Dahil uh, kung yung commercial heat press kasi, uh, it allows you to receive multiple or, or, uh, orders from clients, okay? Kung marami kang order, dagsa yung order sa kliyente mo, pinakamagandang gamitin to yung heat transfer. So, yung heat transfer machine may cost you anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000. Okay? Okay. Second step naman is prepare your required capital. Okay? So, depende sa kinds of equipment na gagamitin mo, kamukha na sinabi natin yung tatlong equipment, at depende rin sa size ng business na gusto mong i-put up at sa number ng staff at uh, yung startup capital mo doon magbabari okay so kung under budget ka consider establishing your business sa bahay at home para makasave ka na expenses okay sa mga rental fees yung investment mo kung sa bahay ka magsisimula ng ganitong klasing business uh, it only include the equipment needed for t-shirt printing yung computer, printer, scanner, fax machine, tsaka yung image, uh, editing software, software, tsaka 
telephone line for customer inquiries. Since hindi na uso ngayon ang telephone line, kahit cellphone, pwede na. Hindi mo na kailangan magpakabit pa ng telepono. Kung meron kang namang mga walk-in clients, kailangan mag-invest ka din sa desk at saka sa chairs para meron kang uh, home office na doon ka tatanggap ng mga customers mo. Para sa direct garment o yung DTG, ang kailangan mo dito ay yung high quality inks. For screen, screen printing, uh, kailangan mo yung material such as screen fabric, aluminum or wood frame, and screen printing inks. So, also, uh, yung emulsion chemical and remover, screen printing inks, squeegee bar, exposing unit, pressurized hose, tsaka emulsion rack. Okay? Para sa heat transfer, kailangan mo lang ng high quality heat transfer paper. Okay. Third step is to evaluate and assess a profitable location. So, napaka-importante ang aspect ang location sa business mo uh, dahil sa visibility and accessibility ng customer. Okay? Kailangan mag-adapt ka ng signage na uh, pwedeng mag-emphasize ng name ng business mo as well as uh, para ma-attract yung prospect mo, yung uh, possible prospect, okay? Pero kung nasa bahay ka lang, uh, possible din na based uh, it inside your home. However, this would require you to make extra effort sa sales and marketing. Kasi nga, kung nasa loob ng bahay, syempre, walang ganong nakakakita dun sa business mo, kundi makasama mo sa bahay. So, dito pumapasok yung role ng social media. Okay? Para makakuha ka ng maraming orders at makapagbook ka ng maraming clients. Okay, number four. Fourth step is to register your business. Okay? So, yung best profits kasi sa ganitong klase ng negosyo sa t-shirt printing business eh, nanggagaling sa bulk orders o sa malakihang or orders o sa wholesale. Okay? So, kung hindi ka legally registered na business, then it would be hard to get orders sa malalaking organizations. Okay, so para sa mga sole proprietorship and partnership, uh, pwede kang mag-register sa Department of Trade and Industry. Para naman sa corporations, uh, you must register sa SEC or sa Securities and Exchange Commission. So once registered ka na, mag-acquire ka ng barangay clearance sa city mo o uh, kung saan na doon yung business mo along with mayor's permit and BIR certificate. Okay, number five is build a workforce. So, kung uh, bagong business ka pa lang at ngayon ka pa lang nag-start ng ganitong negosyo, pwedeng ikaw muna at yung asawa mo or kung sino man ang kasama mo sa bahay, pwede kayong uh, mag, uh, magtulungan. Pero once na lumago yung business mo, um, natutunan mo kung paano i-run yung business mo, pwede mo nang i-duplicate yung sarili mo at mag-hire ka ng staff para scale mo yung operations, okay? And you can start by getting daily workers and eventually, i-promote mo sila to regular employees. So, final tips. Kung seryoso ka talaga na mag-put up ng ganitong t-shirt printing business, whether sa loob ng bahay mo o sa labas, then I highly recommend na mag-attend ka ng seminar or workshop. Most printing suppliers, uh, nagpo-provide sila ng classes at a minimum cost. Okay? Also, uh, also kung kailangan mo ng t-shirt suppliers at naka-base ka sa Manila, you can check out Juan Luna Street sa Divisoria. So, makakabili ka dyan ng mga wholesale in bulk, okay? And lastly, remember that yung t-shirts ay nabibili because of its quality and design, okay? So, yun yung dapat natandaan mo. So, it's important to know who is your target market and uh, kailangan masat masatisfy mo yung needs ng customers mo. 
So, thank you for watching. Sana nag-enjoy ka sa aking short video tutorial at meron kang uh, magandang natutunan sa aking short video tutorial. Okay? So, ilalagay ko sa description lahat ng pwede mong malaman yung mga ideas, small ideas para makapag-start ka ng t-shirt printing business. Okay? So, thank you very much. Bye-bye and God bless. See ya! Peace!